What's up everyone? Today we're making some meal prep for the week and it is going to be a nice gluten-free fried rice. So we have a chicken breast, about a cup of uh, mushrooms, half an onion, one carrot, lots of zucchini, salt, turmeric, and I think three cups of rice. Okay cool, so now that the um, onion and the mushrooms are like brown and the turmeric's like soaked in, I'm just going to pop it into this smaller bowl and um, cook up the chicken separately just so I don't like cross contaminate. So I'll cook the chicken up next, brown that. You want to make sure you cook all of your chicken through really thoroughly uh, and that goes for fish as well not so much red meat i have experienced food poisoning before with the pouch and holy shit, it is so much worse than food poisoning with like a colon it probably took me like three weeks probably three weeks and then like a week off work that's one of the things that i can't stress enough is to cook your stuff through and make sure that the food's not off um, the food that i ate wasn't off it was just some salmon and it's only happened once, but it was really bad. So yeah, anyway, probably cook the chicken for 10 to 15 minutes. Just get one bit, like a thicker bit, chop it through the middle. I know everyone knows how to cook chicken, but for those of you who don't, chop it through the middle, and if it's not pink, you're good to go. So now that that chicken is pretty much cooked, I can um, add in my carrot and stuff. And basically, I want to cook the carrot for about 10 to 15 minutes and this zucchini for about 10 to 15 minutes as well and basically I want to cook that for that amount of time on like not a super high temperature but like fairly high not high enough to make it crispy but high enough to make it softer so it's just easier to go down that's been cranking for about 10 to 15 now I'll turn this off I'm just going to chuck the um, tomatoes the tomatoes I'm just going to chuck the mushrooms and the onions back in So yeah, once all of that's like cooked nice and soft, this is pre-cooked rice as well. So this is, yeah, four cups. And then what you want to do is chuck in your gluten-free soy sauce. I don't actually know, I don't actually know how much to put in, probably like maybe half a cup, but I kind of just gauge it by like throwing a whole bunch on there and seeing how well it looks. Give it a taste test halfway through. So if you don't want the um, soy sauce to be too consistent and too strong, you can just chuck like about a quarter of a cup of water in there and that'll kind of just dull it a little bit. Awesome, so that's done. Super easy to cook, took like 20 minutes. So cook and prepare. And that'll be breakfast and lunch for the next three or four days. Try it and let me know what you think.